Hello, today I am going to discuss about the structure of nephron. Uh, we know that nephron is the structural and functional unit of kidney. So let's discuss about its structure and which part it consists of. So let's move here. Each kidney is made up of 1 million, around 1 million nephrons. There are two types of nephrons. One is cortical nephron. The cortical nephron is around 85% of total nephron and they are found in the cortex part of the kidney. And second one is juxtamedullary nephron. So here juxtamedullary nephron, here medulla term is there, uh, the part of the or portion of the nephron which is uh, present deep in the medulla of kidney that is called as juxtamedullary nephron and uh, remaining 15 percent of the nephron are present in the medulla of the renal pyramid these are coming under the category of juxtamedullary nephron so here nephron consists of three main parts one number one is renal corpuscles which is also called as glomerulus and Second one is renal tubule. Uh, renal tubule has different parts starting from the glomerulus that is ECT, then loop of NLA and DCT. And also DCT is attached to the collecting duct where all the urines passed into the uh, bladder. Okay. Now uh, the third part is associated capillary ne network. These uh, so in this associated capillary network consists of the arteries and vein which are present around the nephron they are meant for carrying uh, blood into the kidney and away from the kidney so let's uh, see the image of the nephron here yeah. uh, this is the structure of kidney these are the this portion is known as cortex here yeah. The upper portion, this is cortex, and the lower portion, yeah, the uh, renal pyramid are present, that is called as medulla, and this is ureter, this is the whole portion of the kidney. Now, let's move to the uh, nephron, which are present both in cortex and medulla region, that is inside the renal pyramid. Yeah. Uh, this is the renal corpuscles or glomerulus. It is also present in cortex part because this portion is cortex portion yeah. and PCT which PCT is this is proximal convoluted tubule which is also called as PCT. This is also present in the cortex and the distal tubule or distal convoluted tubules also called as sorry yeah. This is DCT, DCT, that is distal convoluted tubule. This three parts, that is PCT, renal corpuscles, and distal convoluted tubule, are present in the cortex. So these are the cortical nephrons, which is uh, around eighty-five percent of total nephron. Now remaining part is the loop of LNA and some portion of collecting duct this one is collecting duct which is present in the medulla part of the kidney so this is called as juxtamedullary nephron which is around 15 percent of the total nephron okay the loop of henle collecting duct which is present or uh, deep inside the medulla of the kidney so this is called as juxtamedullary nephron and also these are the parts of nephron we came to know number one is renal corpuscles number two is proximal tubular pct uh, number uh, third is loop of henle yeah or uh, it is also called as lh this is the short form lh loop of henle and the distal tubule or distal convoluted tubule along with the collecting duct 
these are the parts of renal tuber now let's move to the another image here this is the image and this image shows the different parts of renal tuber the first portion is bowman's capsule or glomerulus this one is bowman's capsule and the whole section is known as glomerulus okay now from the glomerulus or proximal part of the glomerulus the pct arised that's why this tube is known as proximal tubule or proximal convoluted tubule okay now this is loop of henle because it's uh, resembled like a hairpin structure and it has two sides descending side which uh, moves downward this one and the ascending side which move upward and this is the loop okay and this is called as loop of henle otherwise in short form it is known as l h and the next part is distal convoluted tubule this portion is distal convoluted tubule or dct okay distal convoluted tubule after then the end of the distal tubule is leading to collecting duct collecting duct is also present in the medulla uh, this is meant for water retention or osmoregulation whatever the water re remains the pass comes into the collecting duct and then it passes into the bladder in form of urine this is all about the structure of nephrons thank you for watching bye